Today we're in Deuteronomy chapter 1. It's the, well, it's the fifth and final book of the book of Moses. Moses has written five books in the Old Testament. This is the last one. And really it's, well, the meaning of Deuteronomy is second law. Here Moses begins to kind of review the law again. And the reason he does is because it's been 40 years since Mount Sinai. The older generation has died in the wilderness. And now he is giving the law again to the new generation that's about to enter the promised land. And he wants them to know, he wants them to be aware of all the failures of their fathers so that they don't repeat them. Now it's time to enter the promised land. In this chapter, he tells them that on a certain time at a certain feast of tabernacles, that they will read the scriptures audibly, that they will listen to them personally. So why does he want them to read it? Well, to know the principles, to understand God's nature, his character, and to not only just read it, but to, to recognize how it speaks to our hearts so that they might know better how to follow the Lord and worship the Lord. You know, someone once said, I think it was a writer once said, it, it's one thing to, to read the scripture and it, it, it has you probably having a great academic understanding of the scripture, but it's another thing to worship God based on the scripture. Just to read it, well, you might have a great theology, but not a relationship. So there's this dynamic between reading the scripture, obeying the scripture, worshiping God, knowing his word. It, it's, it's more of a balance. I, I think you could put it like this. Without Bible study, worship loses its depth. Without worship, Bible study just becomes academic. So Moses is trying to combine the two as he steps back into the teaching of this new generation. Deuteronomy chapter one, amazing review of what the new generation needs to step into the promised land.